hello guys we are going to show you how to create security system using Cisco packet tracer uh, my colleague is going to show you the device and topology the large number is and the student I'll up him. Zero seven three four three. Others nineteen. I'll up him. Zero zero six four six. In security system, we need MCU. And we have first sprinkle we need fire monitor we need heating element So in the other part we have another MCU used to control to program the different devices that are motion sensor motion sensor help for to detect any motion we need camera web camera web camera in this system is always on in order to detect all activities in that area we need switch we need light and you can use silent in the part of cable you can use IOT cable In motion sensor, we use analog pin zero in switch. We can use digital zero in the web camera, use analog to. In light, we use also digital and siren use digital. So when any motion detect around the area specified w the light uh, the silent is always is on when the motion are any mo there are any motion in the that area uh, this switch help to turn on this light Web camera is always on. 
when the la there is high heating element first sprinkler is always on to mi to, to minimize that heat explain the working principle of this system uh, we used python language uh, as you seen on the topology we are going to configure all those devices so we have imported gpo library and time library uh, we have declared switch value and initialize the two zero uh, this switch is local switch then we have motion sensor this one and we have fire detector fire detector is this one so we have uh, we have a function which is called read from sensor and this variable is declared as global we have all those variables as global and we have to read the value from switch so here we have motion sensor which is analog its pin is analog zero as you see here uh, motion sensor this one has a zero as pin then we have the function to activate those those devices here if switch value become high we have to activate all device that uh, that is attached to the pin digital pin 2 digital pin 2 is this one light and uh, we have if this pin 2 is activated and we have another condition which is say which says motion sensor if is high we have to activate uh, this device which is attached to the pin 4 digital pin 4 uh, slain uh -huh. and we have custom right we are going to activate the camera no we have uh, to activate this one okay camera web camera okay let's continue uh earth condition if this okay here we want to turn on our web camera always if it is working we are going to change this state from zero to one which means high and else we have to put one to turn on this web camera so and we have main function we are with the crawl those pins the digital pin zero as input pin one as input two three four as output and we have analog pin two as output okay here if the condition or while it is true we have to perform 
the the task which is declared in this function we are going to call those functions lead from sensor and the right to actuators and we have delay of one second 1k millisecond equal one second okay so let's uh, try to to learn this part of the program and see how it works okay oh we are going to turn on this light by pressing this switch if it is turned on or pressed the light must be on so we have to hold on the RT key and you see that the light is on you can turn it off okay we are going to check if the web camera is on okay uh, the camera let's drag this motion sensor okay okay we have specified that the steering will be on if the motion sensor is activated uh, on web camera uh, maybe there is uh, some error but we are going to fix it so on the camera uh, will be always on okay where is it where is it wow you see that the camera is activated and it will be always on to check and monitor all the activities that are being carried out within the organization so I'm going to introduce uh, Mr. Gisre to explain this part uh, of our system. Here we have what we call fire monitor, uh, MCU, and fire sprinkler. Gisre, welcome. It helps to, to, to minimize the fire that occurs in this part of the system. Here, in MC, they have the code that can be put it. Here, this the some 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 GPU that can import and then that can help this this system to to be to be work here they they have had to de to declare the value of the value of port have the they give you the zero then if the value the value are zero the customer white will be low else customer white will be high when the 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 element of it that can occur in this element will be the the own that can help you to fire sprinkler to 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 minimize the fire that can occur in the system here the there is the delay time that can that can occur when this the time taken when the the sprinkler can be can be minimized the fire i think it is done this is how the system can work so this is the end of our presentation of this this work but before we go off let's see about the, the stimulation of this work so let's try this maybe let's try the motion sensor
You see. Yeah, you see that the serine is activated due to the motion sensor detection. Let's see how the whole project can can work. Uh, so here, let's activate this lamp by pushing this switch. Uh, we hold down the art key and drag the mouse over the switch to see if the light is turned on okay you see it's it's work so let's check the ceiling where it is activated the whenever the motion sensor is activated mm. okay, okay is now working and the camera is on as you suggested in uh, the project and the, the fire splinter is working yeah when you bring the fire near the fire monitor then the splinter is automatically activated Thank you very much. This is the end of our task. See you in the next video. Bye.